this reaction video is like totally different. I mean, like you guys have never seen a reaction video where the actual star of the song is. Hey, don't get into it. No, 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 don't do that. What, what, what? Hey, shout out to Zeus, bro. Oh, Zeus. that's right. <laughs> Zeus is a reaction channel. They do like they had Juice World, rest in peace. Juice all World, like, bro, rest in peace, the Juice World. And then yeah, Zeus is a reaction channel, and they Man. get the, the artists on it too. So. Yeah, but this is exciting because we're gonna. Because so many people are, like, talking about this song. Like, what does this mean? What does that mean? So, you know what? Just to clear things up. From, yeah. So, so he's here. So he's going to clear all of this stuff up. And it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Start it. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. On which? Which you would say? This city. So that means, um, Ayo a Filipino, kahit anong kulay ng balat isasapuso. So that means, um, so put up the, I might put up the translation. Seeing a reaction video where the actual star of the song is. Hey, don't get right it twisted. No, 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 don't do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, shout out to Zeus, bro. Oh, Zeus. that's right. <laughs> Zeus is a reaction channel. They do like they had Juice World, rest in peace. All Juice their, World, like, bro, rest in peace, the Juice World. And then yeah, Zeus is a reaction channel, and they Man. get the, the artists on it too. Yeah, so. but this is exciting because we're gonna. Because so many people are like talking about this song, like what does this mean? What does that mean? So, you know what? Just to clear things up. From, yeah. So, so he's here. So he's gonna clear all of this stuff up, and it's gonna be fun. Start it. Let's go. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. On which? Which you would say? This city. Ah! Ah! Ah!
that's why everybody is gonna eat the song up because you were so proud of your song. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Look what you have today, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, when I watch, like, reactions, sabi na, sabi nga nila ba? It's real, bro. Like, when you hear the chorus, I don't eat it. I mean, I don't eat it. I mean, I don't eat it. I mean, translations uh, up here but it means we are Filipino no matter what the color of our skin is we will take it to heart you know those are the three major languages inside the Philippines you know so because generally it's Filipino as like the main language of Tagalog but then those are like the three main ones the biggest ones like you know so I didn't mean to leave any other dialects or like languages inside the Philippines. Yeah, but just wait. <laughs> just wait. Hey, hey now. Hey now. Just wait. <laughs> you stop it all. The way. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. But yeah, I didn't mean to leave anybody out. But that was like the initial thought because you know Tagalog, Bisaya, and Ilocano, mm -hmm. three biggest um, peoples back in the Philippines. So. By the way, shout out to Manny Pacquiao right here. Hey, you know. <laughs> Over <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, okay. Pero, pero yung kanta na to, bro, mm. sobrang makabayan. Kaya everybody's comparing you to, like, the late Francis Sam. He's a very good friend of mine. Kasi lahat ng mga kanta ni Francis Sam, di ba, talagang binibigay niya yung pagka makabayan niya. And that's exactly what you're doing, bro. That's why everybody is gonna eat the song up because you are so proud of your soil. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. bro, I'm getting goosebumps right now and I'm with you every day, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, when I watch, like, reactionists, sabi na, sabi nga nila ba, kinikilabutan ako. It's real, bro. Like, when you hear the chorus, talagang kikilabutan ka. Grabe talaga siya. I mean, kayo, di ba? I mean, like, Pag hindi kayo kinikilabutan, manhit na kayo nun. Tayo ang balay. <laughs> let's go. No, okay. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. All right, here comes the first verse, and we're going to break everything down for y'all. Just so it's clear. Yeah, break So are you a gangster or something? I mean, not not necessarily fully like, you know, jumped into an actual gang, but just, you know, that was, I had a homie from back then when I was in Pangasinan and like, you know, actually like the, like that actual involvement was just me hanging out with them. It was like, I was partially living. So 
we're going to have him break it down. And so just so you guys know, because, like, you know, not a lot of people, because he said, like, Crippin and all that stuff, so. Yeah, like, just to clear it all, um, what was the first thing? So, are you a gangster or something? I mean, not, not necessarily fully, like, you know, jumped into an actual gang, but just, you know, that was, I had a homie from back then when I was in Pangasinan, and, like, you know, actually, like, the, like, that actual involvement was just me hanging out with them. It was, like, I was partially living in Urdaneta. Nice. And the funny story about that is this homie of mine from back then, I'm not going to name him, but, um, and, like, you know, to the gates, and so this dude watching me. Okay, we got to stop on that one, because... Yeah. He said all kinds of stuff right there, right? So we're going to have him break it down. And so just so you guys know, because, like, you know, not a lot of people, because he said, like, Crippin and all that stuff. So Yeah, like, just to clear it all, um, what was the first thing? So are you a gangster or something? I mean, not, not necessarily fully, like, you know, jumped into an actual gang, but just, you know, that was, I had a homie from back then when I was in Pangasinan and, like, you know, Actually, like the, like that actual involvement was just me hanging out with them. It was like I was partially living in Urdaneta. Nice. And the funny story about that is this homie of mine from back then, I'm not going to name him, in my house and like, you know, to the gates and so this dude watching me, like he walked up to the gate watching me and then all of my other friends at the time, they ran to like the backyard of the house <laughs> because there was like and then i was wondering yo why y'all all like all that you left me here skating all alone and there was like come here bro that guy's a criminal <laughs> and i was like huh like i was like I, I i don't know i didn't i didn't react to it in a way where i was like a criminal i mean he's just watching right you know, like right and um he was just watching and he asked a question like you know like in Tagalog, you uh, know, oh, and I approached him like, like literally sincerely, like just being talking to him like a normal person. Oh, I'm just skateboarding, boys, you know. Showed him a trick or two, and he was like, I don't know what I noticed about him, but I think like because being in, it's in a province in the Philippines called yeah. Pangasinan, and like I don't know how dude has been living, but I feel like he's been there, living like you know in the gutter and like in an archaic type of life. So. Did, I don't know if skateboarding to him was like a first to see, but that's like what I felt like, you know, he was curious about what the hell I was doing because, so I let him in the gate, <laughs> I let him in the <laughs> gate, and I was like, I was showing him something, he tried to roll on it because just like out of curiosity, and he was like, just, just really like weirded out with the fact that like, you know, the, the, the board was just like, you know, too slippery to handle it, like, you know. And I don't know, that probably struck a curious chord. And he, after that, he would come often. And then here's like the weirdest thing where I feel like I got semi jumped in or not even, probably just, I don't know, bro. Like, I, one day he brought his bag with him and told me, like, Merong skate park sa outskirts ng. He didn't say outskirts, but like, Salabas, like, there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city. Um, he's, there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city. And um, it's in an abandoned restaurant. And my grandma thought I was crazy to believe this guy. Like, you know, but I don't Whoa. know. <laughs> I would think it. But, I mean, he's he's like, notoriously, he's a criminal. Everybody's like, like running. There's a criminal. And you're like, Let's go. <laughs> but I was like, bro, like, I don't get out that much. So, like, just me hanging out with him, I don't know. There was, like, a strong sense of, like, um, I don't know, like, angst I was get just hanging out from him. And also just the fact that, you know, I felt like he was genuinely happy trying this something, this skateboarding thing that he was never aware of. So I was, like, just approaching him as, like, a, like a homie, you feel yeah. me? And I felt like, I felt that from him that he was getting this treatment that was, he wouldn't get 
from anywhere. I don't yeah. know. I don't put that like that. So yeah, we went to the skate park and he would always like. Come here, bro. That guy's a criminal. <laughs> and I was like, huh? Yeah, like I was like, I, I I don't know. I didn't I didn't react to it in a way where I was like a criminal. I mean, he's just watching. Right. You know, like, right. And um, he was just watching and he asked a question like you know. Like in Tagalog, you know, uh, I'm Oh, and I approached him like, like literally sincerely, like just being talking to him like a normal person. Oh, I'm just skateboarding, boys, you know. Showed him a trick or two, and he was like, I don't know what I noticed about him, but I think like because being in, it's in a province in the Philippines called yeah. Pangasinan, and like I don't know how dude has been living, but I feel like he's been there, living like you know in the gutter and like in an archaic type of life. So. Did, I don't know if skateboarding to him was like a first to see, but that's like what I felt like, you know, he was curious about what the hell I was doing because, so I let him in the gate, <laughs> I let him in the gate, and I was like, I was showing him something, he tried to roll on it because just like out of curiosity, and he was like, just, just really like weirded out with the fact that like, you know, the, the, the board was just like, you know, too slippery to handle it, like, you know. Be, and I don't know that probably struck a curious chord and he after that he would come often and then here's like the weirdest thing where I feel like I got semi jumped in or not even probably just I don't know bro like I right, one day he brought his bag with him and told me like merong skate park sa outskirts ng he didn't say outskirts, but like, salabas, like, there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city. Um, he's, there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city. And, um, it's in an abandoned restaurant. And my grandma thought I was crazy to believe this guy. Like, you know, but I don't Whoa. know. <laughs> I would think it. But, I mean, he's he's like, notoriously, he's a criminal. Everybody's like, like running. There's a criminal. And you're like, Let's go. <laughs> but I was like, bro, like I don't get out that much. So like, just me hanging out with him, I don't know. There was like a strong sense of like, um, I don't know, like angst. I was get just hanging out from him, and also just the fact that, you know, I felt like he was genuinely happy trying this something, this skateboarding thing that he was never aware of. So I was like, just approaching him as like a, like a homie. You feel yeah. Me? And I felt like, I felt that from him that he was getting this treatment that was, he wouldn't get from anywhere. I don't yeah. know, I don't put that <clears throat> like Francis. And diba talagang binibigay niya yung pagka makabayan niya. And that's exactly what you're doing, bro. That's why everybody is going to eat the song up because you are so proud of your soil. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. bro, I'm getting goosebumps right now and I'm with you every day, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like. When I watch like reactionists, sabi na, sabi nga nila ba, kinikilabutan ako. It's real, bro. Like when you hear the chorus, talagang kikilabutan ka. Grabe talaga siya. I mean, kayo, di ba? Because he said all kinds of stuff right there, right? So we're going to have him break it down. And so just so you guys know, because like, you know, not a lot of people, because he said like cripping and all that stuff. So Yeah, like just to clear it all, um, what was the first thing? So are you a gangster or something? I mean, not not necessarily fully like you know jumped into an actual gang, but just you know that was I had a homie from back then when I was in Pangasinan, and like you know actually like the like that actual involvement was just me hanging out with them. It was like I was partially living in Urdaneta, nice. and. The funny story about that is this homie of mine from back then. I'm like, you left me here skating all alone, and there was like, come here, bro. That guy's a criminal. <laughs> and I was like, huh? Yeah, like I was like, I, I I don't know. I didn't I didn't react to it in a way where I was like a criminal. I mean, he's just watching, right? You know, like, right. And um, he was just watching, and he asked a question like, you know, like in Tagalog, you know, I'm going to. Uh, oh, and I approached him like, like literally sincerely, like just being talking to him like a normal person. Oh, I'm just skateboarding, boys, you know. Showed him a trick or two, and he was like, I don't know what I noticed about him, but I think like because being in, it's in a province in the Philippines called yeah. Pangasinan, and 
like I don't know how dude has been living, but I feel like he's been living like you know in the gutter and like in an archaic type of life. So this, I don't know if skateboarding to him was like a first to see, but that's like what I felt like you know he was curious about what the hell I was doing because. So I let him in the gate. <laughs> I let him in the gate, and I was like, I was showing him something. He tried to roll on it because just like out of curiosity, and he was like, just, just really like weirded out with the fact that like you know, the 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 board was just like you know too slippery to handle, and like you know, we, and I don't know that probably struck a curious chord. And he, after that, he would come often, and then. Here's like the weirdest thing where I feel like I got semi jumped in or not even probably just I don't know about like I one day he brought his bag with him and told me like tomorrow sign nam ta puntan merong skate park sa outskirts ng he didn't say outskirts but like sa labas <laughs> like there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city um he's there's a skate park in the outskirts of the city and um it's in an abandoned restaurant and my grandma thought I was crazy to believe this guy like you know but I don't Whoa. know <laughs> I would think it but I mean he's it's like notoriously he's a criminal yeah, everybody's like <laughs> running there's a criminal and you're like Let's go. <laughs> but I was like, bro, like I don't get out that much. So like, just me hanging out with him, I don't know. There was like a strong sense of like, um, I don't know, like angst. I was get just hanging out from him, and also just the fact that, you know, I felt like he was genuinely happy trying this something, this skateboarding thing that he was never aware of. So I was like, just approaching him as like a, like a homie. You feel yeah. Me? And I felt like, I felt that from him that he was getting this treatment that was, he wouldn't get from anywhere. I don't yeah. know, I don't put that like that. So yeah, we went to the, that's the main, main uh, ride. Main, main ride. Transporta main, main, main transportation, transportation for the Philippines. Yeah. So I got on the jeepney with him to the skate park and he wore this blue rag all the time. When he, mm. Whenever he's like, you know, trying to get out somewhere, like, you know, and then we got to the place and we just like about 50 motherfuckers that are like kind of like the same the same vibe as him and like everybody's like that are like oh what's up bro and then that's like kind of like some of them were skaters and i literally taught him how to shove it inside of the fucking like abandoned restaurant skate park right. and like I don't know. Some sometimes they would tell me to hide because some people are like coming through. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have my skateboard just ready like this. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> but that's like that's a funny story, man. That's crazy. But the way you represent, like yeah. where you from, it's like your roots. Mm -hmm. It's like you have never forgotten. Like, bro, I think like every song that I hear, you always throw up the twenty two double O and like everybody's like wondering like is that a set and so now yeah. he's clearing it up you know what i mean no it's not it ain't no like regular block or set that anybody would just throw up because of like no turf or nothing it's like it may be derived in terms of influence towards that because i feel like a sense of the way that they that came about is they need to put that up to like state the claim if you're coming across like a lot of people who are like you know your enemy like the enemy hood you gotta still uh, stand on 10 toes being like you know i rep this shit oh man. yeah like but for me like i derive that in terms of influence not no culture vulture shit but like derive in terms of influence from that and use it in a way that's positive not deriving um like negativity out of it like i want i made these signs i made these signs like symbolizing two two Double O, like right. that's my entire city. So I'm just putting up for like about fifty motherfuckers that are like kind of like the same, the same vibe as him. And like everybody's like that are like, oh, what's up, bro? And then that's like kind of like some of them were skaters, and I literally taught him how to shove it inside of the fucking like abandoned restaurant skate park, right. and like. I don't know. Some sometimes they would tell me to hide because some people are like coming through. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have my skateboard just ready like this. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> but that's like that's a funny story, man. That's crazy. But the way you represent, like yeah. where you from, 
it's like your roots mm -hmm. it's like you have never forgotten like bro I think like every song that I hear you always throw up the 22 double O and like everybody's like wondering like is that a set and so now yeah. he's clearing it up you know what I mean it's no not, it ain't no like regular block or set that anybody would just throw up because of like no turf or nothing it's like it may be derived in terms of influence towards that because I feel like a sense of the way that they that came about is they need to put that up to like state the claim if you're coming across like a lot of people who are like you know your enemy like the enemy hood you gotta still uh, stand on ten toes being like you know I rep this shit oh yeah man. like but for me like I derive that in terms of influence not no culture vulture shit but like derive in terms of influence from that and use it in a way that's positive not deriving um like negativity out of it like I want I made these signs I made these signs like symbolizing two two Double O, like right. that's my entire city. So I'm putting up for my entire city. You feel me, man? Along with like, be proud, and also you brought you brought up like Kendrick and then ASAP yeah. and ASAP. So I'm I'm assuming that's like your main. I mean, like you guys can't deny anyways. This dude right here, but he spits, bro. I mean, like everybody's saying it. I mean, I'm, I'll be like the first one to say, man. He's got songs, bro. That like. You sound exactly like Ambro, and you got songs that you sound exactly like Kendrick. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like, <clears throat> bro, it's it's crazy because everybody that watches like all the reactions and, and shit like that, you know what I mean? They're like, bro, is this M? And they're like, you know what I mean? Like, and they're like, man, I hope I hope M hits up this kid. You know what I mean? It would be dope to have them two together. You know what I'm saying? Like. We went really far into like the lyrics already. It went even deeper. I know, <laughs> but you know, but.